Today I'm going to show you how to shape a handle just like I did in the elemental knife. This is an elemental knife somewhat. It has a fuller in it and we're going to put a handle on it. Bloop, just like that. And now I'm going to show you how to shape it. Now in this, I'm just going to do the work. I'm not going to sit there and go step by step. If you'd like to see step by step detail detail, you have to get the elemental knife in the Forge series. But I'm going to show you the fast forward way to do this and the why. And what I want to do is just help you make a better knife handle, but also want to encourage you to invest in your education. So if you want to learn this, you want to get better at this, take a class, watch the Forge series. This episode is brought to you by Forged Heritage. You can go check that out on my Patreon. All right, let's get busy. First thing I do, I prep my scales. So I've got a fuller ground into my handle and I've also got it ground into my wood. And the reason for that is when you have epoxy in here, you want the epoxy to actually do something besides just sealing out moisture. So I've got somewhere for the epoxy to go instead of out of the handle. That's why I'm doing that, all right? I've got one glued up already. Bam. This is curly maple, it's got G10 pins. Let's go shape it. So this is a 36 grit belt. I've been using it on my Carta. It'll work perfect on here. Put the belt on. This makes it easy to get it squared up here. Platin. I don't always use it, but then I want to square the platen. So now what I'm going to do is profile. And from then on, I'm going to go fast forward. So there won't be much more talking after that. I'm gonna clean my belt real quick. I got this old piece of carbide. Uh, sometimes you just gotta refracture your belt. So I'm gonna use that to refracture this belt, make it sharp again. Crazy how that works. Works, okay. Yes. Nice. I'm going to draw some lines on here for a guide to show me what I want to take off. So let me show you how to do that real quick. I've already marked some lines up top. I'm just going to continue this straight on down through here. Now, I'm gonna do a little twist different on this knife. So, just giving myself guidelines. So this will be a wedge. I'm just taking that and that off, right? Do that next. I hate to change belts, but I'm gonna have to. So this belt is really good for metal at this point. It's a little too clogged up to use on wood without wasting a lot of my time. And I don't want to waste time. So I got a brand new 36 grit belt. This one came from Pops Knife Supply. Primary supplier is Red Label. And uh, those are good. All right. I got nice flat plane, flat plane, and this is tapering this way, okay? Now I'll draw some more lines for you. I'm gonna take these facets off.
Now I'm going to switch to a different grip after I do this. Okay. I got a 120 from Red Label. This is a stiff belt. I'm going to take everything to 120. So a little different from normal, but I like it because it's grippy, it's not uncomfortable. I've done handles all the way like this and I really like the way they work. Now we do a little hand finishing and we're done. So I want to just even this up, make these both even. The curly maple is one of my favorite handle materials I like to use. Outside of that, I really like stabilized wood. Um, this is a nice go-to because it's very tough, very durable, and it's very pretty. It's not that expensive, and that's a nice thing. It's like a very renewable resource. Some of these woods are, are hard to, to get new, you know, like they just, it ain't growing anymore. So some of them are difficult to find. This part is always the hard part, getting up in here. All right. It's not bad. So because of the type of finish I do on these, I don't need to go past 220. And um, this is handy. This is the same 
foam that they use in kydex, like a kydex press for making kydex sheets. So I'm just using that to back my sandpaper here so I get a nice even finish. Better to parkerize these, but I don't have that set up. So. And we're gonna let that sit for a moment. Mm -hmm. Leather dye. Man, I'm pretty happy with the way that turned out. That is nice. Now you know what I'm gonna do? Would you really like to know? I, you know the funny part? I didn't even know I was gonna do that. <laughs> dry for uh, at least 24 hours just so that the stain is dry and then I'll do a little bit more finish on it and then I'll wax it. Alright so finish with our handle, finish with our finish on our blade, everything worked out just swimmingly. This is something I've done one other time but I like, I like it, it's comfortable, it's different. And that's it. All I need to do is let this dry for about 24 hours and then I'll go back and I'll wax it with the axe wax. Alright, so if you like what you're seeing, if this is helping you, if you enjoy our content, you can support us on Patreon. Also, I have a TikTok account, which is all the behind the scenes sh shenanigans and fun stuff. And don't forget, be a maker, make a difference.